So we're playing again, like I said, we're going to be playing Black Room. This is a game by Cassie McQuader. Cassie made this game in 2017, so it seems, and this is a, a really incredible game. Um, I was actually first made aware of this through the local host exhibition that we did called There Are No Girls on the Internet, and Cassie was one of the exhibiting artists. And what Cassie did for the show is Cassie took excerpts from this game, if I understand correctly, and made still sh still shots like this one that we're looking at right now that could be exhibited in Minecraft, because at the time, Localhost was still a Minecraft art gallery. And it's won a bunch of awards. It seems really incredible, and I've just never actually played it, so um, I figured that would be a good thing to do on my Saturday evening. So we'll, we'll do the reading here. Black Room is a browser-based narrative game about falling asleep while on your computer on the internet. You play as an insomniac on the verge of sleep, moving through shifting states of consciousness. Hallucinatory, pixelated visions of landscapes filled with sprites ripped directly from the arcade, NES, NES SNES video games of your childhood appear and disappear as you click through fragile internet spaces. Point-and-click video games are scattered throughout the narrative. Often interrupted, you continually return to the black room, a meditation technique your mother taught you for falling asleep, visualizing black flowers in a black vase on a black table in the center of a black room. This game, conceived as a feminist dungeon crawler, features a majority female cast of video game sprites from the 1970s to current day. This work seeks to bring these characters together to form new narratives, Chun Li represents elegantly in a excuse me, Chun Li reposes elegantly in a desert oasis filled with flamingos. Catwoman languidly cartwheels across the nighttime beaches of Coney Island. Jennifer Simpson, Simpson, the lead character from Clock Tower, runs endlessly through the brightly pixelated fantasy landscapes of the Oregon Trail. These narratives appear as strange visions to the player, induced by shifting stages of wakefulness. I'm very excited. We will not be watching the trailer. We're going straight in. Okay, so we need to go here. And I want to close these. Yeah. Black room. Should we read? Yeah, let's read. Black Room is in part a game about your browser. Default browser settings should be fine, but note, game was designed for and tested on Chrome and Firefox only. That's why we're using Chrome. I already took note of that uh, before I started earlier. Make sure you begin, before you begin, that your browser is set to allow pop-ups. Um, I don't think I've done that. Hopefully that does it. Um, you'll be asked to resize your browser in order to advance because of this. Okay, yeah, we've got a big screen to work with. That should be good. Okay, we've got a good enough internet connection, I think. The graphics card on this computer, eh, not totally sure about that. But I, considering I was just editing two gigabyte files, it should be fine. Um, so let's just do it. Let's... Uh, Let's have some fun. The sky is vast, yawning. You feel as though you've just woken from a long sleep. There's only one direction to travel. I broke it again. There we go. It's 
She wasn't kidding when she said this game was intensive. I mean, this computer is not by any means powerful, but it's, uh, I can hear the fans whirring up. Hey, Smoked, thanks for following. Okay, we got the arrow keys. Okay, we walking. We walking. Yeah, the first time I I, st I, I didn't get very far because then I was starting to have audio issues, but um, I kind of got worried that maybe there wasn't, like, the, I, like I walked the wrong way. <laughs> but we're getting somewhere. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this is intense. I'm like genuinely afraid that I'm going to die or something. I don't really know what... I don't know what can happen. <laughs> like, I kind of want to see what happens if this, like, flying box catches up to me. I don't think anything will happen. Oh, okay, nothing. I feel a little bit better about that now. I wonder where this is supposed to be. I mean, I, I guess ultimately... Nowhere and anywhere, kind of. The flames crackle loudly, it says. Ooh, ooh, I want to I wanna read this. I wonder if it says something new. Yeah, the fire is hot on your cheeks, stinging in your eyes. There is only one direction to go. I'm sensing a theme. Ooh, I'm red. Okay, I was just teleporting or something. 
The cave is dark and chilly. Strange candles and glowing insects light your way. There's only one direction to go. <laughs> Ooh, now we move in. We got a bat. Oop, sorry. Uh-oh. Okay. This game has never worked. It leads me all over the place. It only creates other rooms. Let's open a window. A glittering sky. Blinking, you find yourself in a dark room. You stumble forward, your fingers searching for something solid. Resize the browser to find hidden items. Oh, interesting. What'd I find? That's rad. I see the black chair and I try to place it relationally to the black table. By the time I imagine the table, the chair is gone. When I reimagine the chair, there is no longer a room, but a hallway, and I'm walking through it. As I walk, the hallway becomes an ocean, and I'm awake to begin again, to rearrange the room. I wonder if it wants me to... Like, put the notebook on the table... Okay, we've got some ocean. Okay. <laughs> we can Google paradise. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, here we go. My mother taught me this game, which her mother taught her, a trick for falling asleep. Wanting to please my mother, I played the game, but I can never hold more than a couple of furnishings before, I have, before having to start over. Okay. We getting wild. Oh, so maybe it would have expected me to, like, stay like this. Interesting. What do we get this time? We get some mountains. I'm like super into this. Let's keep going. I was sure there was a winning of the game. My stress became more when I remembered I had forgotten. A chair or a vase in the corner. Why can't I hold the room together? Is that not the point of the game? Okay, so the dandelion? No, it's a palm tree. OK. 
Here we get a vase. I let myself leave the room if I feel calm enough. Instead of leading me to other rooms, then, I find myself disappeared to a paved street. There's something in the palm fronds, like ribbons or debris or animals. I return and I'm in the room again, holding a flower, a white one. What is going on? Oh, I see it. We've got some... Jellyfish? I see the leg. It's kind of rad. Oop, is this what we want? Yep. Yeah. The blackness of the room is nauseating. I think it's supposed to be a play on the back of eyelids. The darkness is supposed to be a comfort to invoke sleep. It leaves me paranoid and forgetful. How can I place things if I can't see them? Where does my body belong in this room? A webbed mound in a field of snow. What do we get this time? Ooh, some goldfish. Or koi? Fish, in any capacity. I shouldn't guess, because I'm not a fish connoisseur. Oh my gosh. Done goofed. Sorry. Uh yeah, I'll I'll probably be on in an hour, maybe. I'm gonna play until this I'm gonna stream until this game is Well until I finish this game. What do we have? Oh, this is the fish. Whoops. <laughs> you can Google beautiful white flowers everywhere. <laughs> do we want you? No. Do I need to go bigger? Maybe I need to go smaller. No, that's the fish again. Ah, there it is. Ooh, ooh. Secrets. <laughs> it's a bomb. I'm, like, really enjoying this. My mother taught me this game. I was convinced it should work. It doesn't work only because I cannot convince myself of its materiality. Outside of myself, the game must work. Can the game exist inside... Can the game exist outside of myself, outside of my body? Where is the room when I am awake? And where is the room when I am asleep? Okay, so we've got some candles. A sweet-smelling memory blossoms. Okay, we get the window. These are dope. I don't I don't know what these are, but they're so rad. Just like that. I guess it's given it given us this one kind of easy. I imagine it's some kind of old folk tale, the black room. And that must give the room some kind of weight or truth. If my mother told me of it, and her mother told her of it, I should cherish it. I should enjoy decorating it with invisible objects. But if it is invisible after all, does it matter what is inside of it? <laughs> it 
It says, this house is full of mistakes. A small flame burns in an imaginary field. Strange clouds forming. A foggy evening sky. We have some TNT in the corner. Inside a dormant volcano. Oh, it's right in front of me. I didn't even see that. How am I to know where to put the objects in order to honor the memory of all the black rooms that came before this one? Of my mother's black room and my mother's mother's black room. Do, others, do other rooms exist at the same time or on the same plane? Or do I erase another's room when I create one? And if this room exists, how could others not? When I leave the room, it is always by accident. I punish myself and begin again. We get this again. These are rad. I want the secrets. We get some Mona Lisa artwork, perhaps. Time is passing quickly. Well, maybe not right now. There's a bit of a pandemic. This is amazing. I'm like super into this. Oh, I found something. Where was it? Strange clouds. What if we squish it? Do we get anything? I don't think so. I see you though. Are you new? Uh, you put some flowers on. Okay. Let's keep going. Ooh, we got new stuff. You've entered a room filled with blue flowers, which lean instinctively towards a faint light. Beside you is a pool overflowing with a red, opaque liquid. Is it blood? Let's breathe. You plug your nose and attempt to breathe through it. Okay. Okay, so we get a new room here. We get a chest. A stone pool filled with a dark metallic liquid. There are small ripples, but no source. Oh. <laughs> a small child. As a small child, I would play dress up, turning our sheets into fine Victorian gowns, or sometimes Edwardian. In the light and mood felt right. If the light and mood felt right, excuse me. The costumes transported me to a different world. You awake in a chamber filled with smoke. Lilies spring up from the floor. Jump. You jump through the air and slowly float back down. A neon pink pentagram lights the room. Resize the browser to find hidden items. Hover over objects to discover their stories. Okay. So we have a woman here. A black rat creeps towards you. Will you pet it? Why not? Oh, we get arrow keys. What can I do? What if I go towards her? Oh, okay, so I can explore. Okay, we got some dry bones. Oh, 
Um, and I actually don't recognize any of these other assets. Bad gamer, bad. Okay. Okay, now I'm confused. I have two browsers open. <laughs> Wait, what did this say? Sorry. A haunted looking chest sits nearby. It, it is locked. What could be inside? Love letters? A doll? Okay, now I'm feeling like super overwhelmed all of a sudden. There's like... Am I still looking for... In the corner sits an odd, dark creature with Medusa-like vines emanating from its head. We lived in the woods of Michigan. I would host lavish dinner parties among the mossy logs, greeting my guests. Welcome, Jessamine. Welcome, Benedict. Okay. Okay, I don't see anything here for the moment. Blink. Blink, it said. Blink. Yo, a link to the past. I recognize that sound. There's not much here, your eyes grow heavy. Click on objects to explore, leave when you're ready by closing, okay. This is super well made, like, I, I feel a little bit stuck at the moment, but the fact that, like, this is, I, I'm a fan. Not that anyone needed my approval, but. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, back we go. But I don't know. I don't see anything. Yeah, so same same thing. We need to resize the room. What if we go like way up? Nothing. Oh, there it is. Derp. The room is splattered with puddles of black liquid. Oil? You bend to touch one. It's deep and dark like the water was the day. Let's try that again. It's deep and dark like the water was the day you learned to swim. Look upwards. You blink slowly. The backs of your eyelids are flashing red. I ran for miles to find the most secluded spot, tripping over sheets and pine cones. There was something freeing about it. Okay. The black rat reappears. I think I said black cat last time. No, maybe, I don't know. This time floating near a wall. It may cross your path. Oh, cool. So we can explore again. So I tried this last time, but I clicked the other door. Will it say the same thing? Yeah, okay. That 
That Pizza Hut box, though. <laughs> Yo, there's Zelda again. Okay. Glistening pink bubbles float quietly through the fog. It's unclear if they're coming closer or moving further away. The creature reappears, resting in a pool of black liquid. Its bendy spikes slightly more erect. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so we can explore again. Okay. What if I click this one? I wonder if they're all different doors. <laughs> okay, those are those are kind of intense. There was something there. What was that? Aha. You awake in a room awash in pink light. Roses you recognize and strange plants you do not surround you. Okay, let's read. You pull a note out of your pocket that you wrote to yourself as a child. The note begins to float up slightly and disintegrate. Okay, so we have more rooms. Is that Metroid? I think that's Metroid. Those guys flying out. Ooh, we only get one door this time. Four kneeling women decorate every corner of the room with hair longer than you've ever seen. Are they praying or plotting? I can click this one. I would crouch down beneath the needles of a massive pine tree and read Withering Heights with a flashlight. It's big, dangerous, brooding heroes who could eventually destroy me for real. In that moment just seemed romantic. Hmm. The feathery arms of the viney weeds sway casually, as if in a soft breeze. A small container with a reddish cap sits near one of the kneeling women. It's filled with a liquid, maybe ink or perfume. It's interesting, in all of these side rooms, the when you hover over someone, they disappear. I feel like the exit's going to be in these green circles, or at least that's what I would expect. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Translate this page. No, I don't think we need that. Reddish mushrooms are scattered between strange puddles. In the middle of the glowing green chamber is a strange black plant. 
its twisted arms moving like spiny springs. Let's measure time. You lift up your arm to check the time on your digital watch. Put your hand back down and count to 120. Lift your watch back up to see how much time has actually passed. You spot this familiar creature. Is it following you? The stone pool reappears, but this time the liquid is dark blue. It's so difficult to tell how deep the pool is. Jump in. A winged creature that resembles a scorpion or an earwig hangs in the air suspended, staring at its own shadow. In the old cemeteries I made tracings of tombstones. My hair was long, my nail polish light pink and chopped. I thought I was romantic and edgy. Is that R? It is. You find yourself in a blue tiled room. Piles of sand dot the floor. In the corner, a woman in the corner, a woman made of water waits for you. Stand. You firmly plant your feet on the ground without bending your knees, looking to your left, then quickly kneel down. Look to your left, excuse me. What you see is what you get. The gold-handled briefcase is not locked. I think that's Catwoman. As mentioned in the description. Yeah, that's Catwoman. These are so rad. They're like these dope video game palettes. You're listening but not watching. It's ex it's an experience alone of working on things. It is like poetry. I mean, I, I assume that Cassie built it to sort of feel that way. Um, and I think in some ways I'm actually enjoying it more because I'm reading it aloud. Watching the plant sway, you're reminded of what wind feels like on your arms. A small fairy flutters on the far side of the room. The fairy is multicolored and at first glance resembles a butterfly. I should, well, technically I am recording right now. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Gonna be making the big bucks for audiobook reading. Ooh, I found the exit. I would do audiobooks. I think it would take a ton of takes based on how many times I'm having to repeat things that I'm reading. A room filled with sand. Pink flowers sway, sway calmly amid puddles of bright slime. You sense a cold fog with your skin, but see none. You cannot feel the sand. And we pick up a mirror. With your right hand, you pick up a mirror and try to focus. You are unable to see your reflection because of an intrusive glare from an overhead light. Golden burgundy slime oozes from a jelly-like slug. Growth. A small white wooden box hovers above the sand. It looks to be a large jewelry or toy chest. And another stone pool, shimmering red, gives off a metallic odor that permeates the room.
I looked at the fields and shivered a little. I thought I may get stuck in there and turn into some kind of ghost and end up haunting the woods and the swamp like Catherine Earnshaw. A green f creature with large fangs watches you from above. Its skinny tail acts like a whip and creates a whooshing sound when flicked. Do we go this way? Oh, there it is. Or do I have to get like real tiny? Did I read this one? No. I looked at the fields and shivered a little. I thought I may get stuck in there and turn into a kind of ghost. No, I did. Like Catherine Earnshaw. I don't know how to get out of this room. Oh, I can just click it. Derp. Two briefcases to your right, and strange corals on the floor confuse you. Outside you imagine they're setting fire to the cornfields. Touch your hand. You touch your left index finger to your right palm, and notice it appears to be glowing a bright pink. Okay. Pale sludge moans beneath your feet. That seems not ideal. Two metallic boxes with golden locks sit patiently before you. And where do they take us? The clutter is comfortable to you now. You've been in many rooms like this. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. To test my strength, I would dip my foot slowly at first, into the murky swamp water. Imagine an otherworldly sea creature biting at my toes and hurriedly pull my feet back towards safety. Oh, interesting, the wall changed. You exhale and see ghosts in your breath. A glass vial glows with golden light. A cryogenic chamber. We turn off the lights. You walk to the light switch and flip it once. Nothing happens. Flip it back. Still nothing changes. The glass tube of the chamber envelops you in its own golden glow. A white-tipped moth flutters in the corner. Perhaps it's, perhaps it's looking for an escape. Hmm. Huh. 
The room is a field. Grass and plants that remind you of gentle, pinkish brains reach out for you. You imagine candles, green ones, burning under your feet. Touch the wall. You move backwards until your back brushes up against the cool wall, only to spring forward again. You find delicate blades of grass and dirt underneath your fingernails. Large insects softly click their fangs together. My favorite, praying mantis. A spirit with very long arms reaches for you while plunging into the wall. <laughs> a spider with the face of a woman watches you curiously from above. The solid lines of the walls bend softly into the grass, creating the illusion of an open space. Standing in front of the swamp, you imagine the sound of 1,000 frogs. Beautiful red mucus drips from the walls. Listen closely. You brush your hair behind your ears and try to listen to the sound of your own breath as it, as it grows in intensity. Unearthly and aggressive giant dragonflies buzz loudly close to your ears. The statue of Lady Neptune you recognize from your childhood journals, where you kept detailed notes on the spot patterns of the many frogs you collected with your sister. In the background it says, pull pin, press lever, direct spray at base of flames. And there's the bomb again. A bubbling purple jelly-like organism rises from the water. I carved a path for myself. While walking, I'd recite Emily Dickinson's poem that begins, We dream. Is it good we are dreaming? There it is. The room is red. It brings to mind your mother's favorite nail polish. You would often borrow this polish and paint it into the tr onto the trees to help lead you back to your home. Your mother would get upset, but never yell at you for wasting the polish. Read the label. You read the label on the bottom bottle of polish, but can't make out what the text says. I can't read that. Two nude women stroke a beating heart. The white box is familiar to you. A beautiful sky fades in the distance. Blood drips quietly throughout the field. Oh, there's a bunch of rooms now. Let's go here. Okay, so the same text. The clutter is comfortable to you now. You've been in many rooms like this. And we can destroy stuff. 
and when you hover over, it disappears. Ah, I don't know what I clicked. Okay, what do we have? Navigate this strange place as best you can. Relax and enjoy the view. You'll know the way out when you see it. Or close the browser, ba browser page when you've had enough. Keep going. Cross over a river, I suppose? Oh, I can't keep going that way. Well, then let's... Oh. <laughs> Amazing. This vision is for you. Amazing. Feel free to keep this tab open and view it whenever you need a break. Close it whenever you like. And it resizes. The feathery plant calls to you with its arms. Where's the exit? It's not the heart. Is that it? Yeah. Yellow. A furnace of gold in the corner. Humid air. You notice streaks of red nail polish on the wall. Lift your arms. You stand between the doorway and press the back of your hands against the sides of the frame, holding that pose for 30 seconds before you move out, and your, your arms appear to float up. A golden safe with several knobs quietly whispers something valuable. Above, a winged salamander basks in the pure yellow light. And what is this? A dark creature agitatedly hops, its armless body propelled by bird-like legs. Is it trying to tell you something? The walls have disappeared. You feel silk and heat on your arms. The door opens and you are in the woods. Touch your skin. You touch your skin, but your fingers pass through your arms, leaving a burning smell. There are no longer walls, only waves of magenta. A tiny puddle of mauve liquid continuously engulfs itself. The smell of decay from an armored corpse, from the armored corpse, mixes with the fragrance of the pink flowers. Okay. This is Dark Room by Cassie McQuader. Sort of a web-based game. 
that she built herself. Um, gray leafed flowers grow in pools of slime. You reach for a puddle and watch the liquid become steam under your touch. Cover your eyes. You can see through your skin. So Cassie um, exhibited some work in an earlier exhibition of Localhost, back when it was still a Minecraft gallery. And the work that she exhibited were like small excerpts from pieces of this game and I realized that I had never played it so I wanted to play it it was always meant to be this way you hear a sweet voice say are you ready to proceed it's like it's unlikely that you can ever return oh, I have to make a decision now the ending of your dream has arrived the statue of a small creature sits on a stone pedestal in the corner. You know what it means. You have seen it many times in other dreams. In the spring, I collected enough flowers to fill my small hands. They were mostly daffodils, pale yellow petals. I would lose time by staring at my palms, dyed green by the stems. Okay, I guess I'm ready. Your body has dissolved. You stand in front of your metamorphosized reflection, your hair like a dozen snakes. A halo for your forehead floats softly. Got really loud. Lift your face to the sky. You spread your wings and rise into the imaginary night. You expect that there are many others like you out there, waiting in other rooms, in other hallways, in other door frames, inside dimly glowing lamps, next to tables, across from chairs. Some with wings, some with fins, some with fangs, some with horns. <laughs> because baby, you're a demon of the night now, and smiling quietly, you fly into the blackness to search for your lost sisters. black room that was amazing I'm like afraid to close the window though I don't want to like miss if something more is going to happen. Yeah, surely nothing more happens. Check the source. Oh, we getting, we getting hacky now. Oh, I need to, where is that on a, I'm so used to Chrome on, PC. Uh, developer. View source. Oh man. Uh, we've got keyframes. Yeah, so there's the, like, fade-out for the text, probably. We've got some JavaScript. I'm talking as if I know what any of this does. I genuinely am a way outside of my element here, but... Yep, there's the text. Something about the text that it reads you being near the bottom of the page makes me feel like there's not anything more. Maybe that's a really, like, dumb way to come to a conclusion, but...
crazy 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 well if any of you are curious to check out Cassie's work There you go. And if you want to play Black Room, it's the first link, but Cassie's work is great in general. <laughs>